Hey guys, this is Austin Brown, and today I'm going to teach you a beginner's guide to creating a monitor mix and live sound. This can be a very complicated topic, but this is intended for people that have no idea what they're doing. So what is a monitor mix? A monitor mix is a mix that is created for performers to hear what they are playing. Everybody's going to want something a little bit different, so... This is something that you really have to practice and get down so that you can do it quick and on the fly. Oxens. You're going to hear this a lot. It's a universal audio term used to describe the process of splitting an audio signal into one or more copies to send somewhere. Monitoring speakers, effects, or maybe even an external device. There's two types of auxins. There's a pre-fade auxin and a post-fade auxin. A pre-fade auxin is a copy of the signal that will not be affected by making changes to the channel. We like to use these for monitor mixes because we don't want a performer's mix to be compromised by changes we make to the actual mix that we feed the audience. A post-fade auxin is a copy of the signal that will be affected by changes to the channel fader. We like to use these on effects in situations where you'd want the copy of the signal to mimic the fader's moves. For example, sending a kick drum signal to subs. So here's how you make a monitor mix. Again, this is a very basic description. It can get crazy depending on how large the act is. First, you want to make sure that a designated aux output is connected to the input of a monitor speaker that's in front of the performer. Then you're going to raise the speaker volume so you can hear when you start sending some signal, and you're going to make sure that the channel is active. Once you've done that, you can raise the aux master to unity and then start increasing that aux send until the performer can hear it. Once the performer can hear it, you can adjust EQ to taste. So here's a basic diagram of a monitor mix that I drew. We have one singer coming in on channel one. We have one wedge that's being fed by aux output one. When the singer wants to hear his vocals, I'm going to go to his channel, which is labeled lead vocals, and we're going to raise aux one until he can hear himself out of his wedge. It's that simple. So here I've also added a guitar player and he also sings backing vocals. So we got two more inputs. I have his vocals coming in on channel two and his guitar coming in on channel three. And then because we have another wedge, we have to use another aux output. So aux output two goes into the input of the guitarist's monitor wedge. And then we start mixing. So say that the guitar player wants to hear a little bit of vocals in his monitor. I'm going to go to the lead singer's vocal channel and I'm going to raise aux 2. If the lead singer wants to hear guitar, I'm going to go to the guitar and raise aux send 1. Here's a signal flow of a monitor mix. Signal flow is important because you got to understand where the signal starts and where it goes. So here we have our mic line level source, which was our singer singing into a mic, and we plugged him into mic input one. Then we do our signal processing. We're gonna EQ it, maybe do some compression, and then we're gonna use the channel fader to raise it up in the mix. Here's where aux sends come into play because a pre-fade aux send is gonna happen before the channel fader, and a post-fade aux send is gonna happen after the channel fader. They're both going to feed an aux master, which controls the overall balance of the mix, and then that's going to go out the aux output and into the speaker, exactly as the performer wants it. After the channel fader, it feeds into the main mix, which is a sum of all of the faders on the board, and that is what feeds to the audience through the main speaker. So, I send a pre-fade aux send, which is taking place before the channel fader, to the singer, so they can hear it as loud as they want it, but let's say he's rocking the audience's ears off, I can lower the channel fader, and he still hears it as loud as he needs to. So that's how you make a monitor mix, guys. Thank you for watching. My name's Austin Brown.